Hello there. So uh, I just got a comment recently saying, damn, this place is lonely. <laughs> First, I guess, for uh, one of my South Park Stick of Truth gameplay videos. I haven't really posted much stuff like of me talking. So this is the first one in a while. <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't agree more. There's something up with my channel. Um, I don't know what's going on. I think that my videos have, are being squashed because... Maybe people just hate my content, and that's fair enough too. Um, or I think because I don't monetize my stuff, no one really sees it, so therefore they don't click on it. Although most of my views are people that are unsubscribed, so I don't know what's going on. I can't keep up with it. But um, you're here now, and I thank you very much if you're watching this or listening to this, because there's not really much to watch. But um, yeah, I haven't really been up to a lot lately i've just and creativity wise i've just sort of been having a bit of a break the problem i'm finding is what do i work on first because i've got a few things that i'd like to work on one being stinky dyke pirates the cartoon series i was working on i wouldn't mind getting into that but um i've had no applicants for voice acting like none at all so um yeah I, that doesn't mean it won't go ahead it means that um, I can still go ahead with this project, but LR Artunist and I will both be doing the voices for all the characters. So, yeah, um, that's a lot of work. So, um, I can either go with that, or there's another series I'm planning on doing. I've got a couple of series that I could do in the pipe. Um, one being more simplified, so I don't need as many voice actors. So, LR Artunist. LR Artunist and I can both pull off the voice acting and it won't be as predictable, I suppose, because there's only so many voices that two people can do, um, even though we both have quite a range. But um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to give other people a chance and just sort of seeing if they were into it. And um, it would have been cool. But um, the problem is like not many people are seeing what I'm putting out like, especially recently, there was one part of it there where everything was blowing right up, but I think now, because I'm not monetized, um, there's, I don't know, maybe YouTube's changed some things. I noticed there's, like, I'm getting consistently <laughs> one person downvoting my stuff, which is fine. I have no problem with that. Um, if you don't like it, you don't like it. That's fine, too. Um, I think there is someone out there that is mad at me. <laughs> And I think I know who that person is. But um, yeah, we'll just um, say thank you so much for clicking on the video, whoever you are. And thank you everyone that has thumbs that are, uh, thumbs up my content in the past. And um, yeah, for just engaging. And uh, it's good. Sort of, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades, master of none here. So if you um, see anything you like, then yeah, I'm just glad I could entertain you for like two minutes or whatever it is. Or in some cases, 40 minutes to a whole hour, uh, depending on what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep these gameplay videos short so people can, like, obviously don't have to sit there and watch the whole thing anyway, but it's, like, you know, um, just a little bit more engaging when you don't have to sit in front of a long-ass video. It can be kind of daunting, I suppose. So there's that. That's uh, two things that I've been thinking about working on. So either... Stinky Dark Pirates or two new shows. Um, one is the, the other show that I'm thinking about doing. Um, that's one of the two shows is more sort of family friendly, I guess you could say. It's sort of anyone can tune in and enjoy it. There's not going to be any kind of really adult sort of humor to it. It's going to be just sort of like your everyday Saturday morning cartoon style um, vibes. So, yeah. And I think that might be the way to go, because, I mean, Stinky Dyke Pirates, I love the idea of it, and it's going to have some pretty cool characters, but again, if I can't get those voice actors, it's just not going to be the, the show that I want to make, because I want to have a variety of different voices. But I still may go ahead with it anyway, I don't know. I'm still, like, this is why I'm taking a break, because I really need to think about what I want to do. If you have any suggestions, uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'll definitely read them, and I try and um, respond to everybody that leaves a comment, because 
yeah, I feel like there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. The only time I wouldn't respond to a comment is when YouTube hasn't notified me. So, and this has happened quite a lot. It's actually really frustrating because I'll go into my analytics and um, I go into comments and I see comments on there that were like over a week ago or two weeks ago in some cases. And I had no idea they were even there. So even if it is like a week or two weeks out, I still respond when I do see them. So um, I've been a little bit more cautious of that now. I just check in the comments occasionally. Even when I've been talking to someone in the comment sections of some of my videos, I don't get notified for it. So you're having like a really engaging conversation and YouTube doesn't notify me. And that is a real pain in the ass. Like I'm really getting sick of YouTube. My videos are constantly getting copyright strikes or not strikes, but like uh, notifications or warnings or whatever. Um, and it's a real pain in the ass, especially when it comes to stuff that I've been trying to preserve, like the Playmore videos. Um, those Playmore videos, for those that don't know, are um, recorded from a VHS and submitted to Australian Xbox magazine. And they put them on a, the demo disc that they would release with their magazines. So that's why the quality looks like shit, because they are recorded from uh, a VHS machine and, and uh, sent in to Australian Xbox magazine. So it's pretty cool. And I just wanted to document this stuff because a lot of it's, you, you just can't find it anywhere because it's, if you're lucky enough to have gotten the magazine that month or that week or whatever it was, then you would obtain this DVD that came with it. Or it had like a um, bunch of games that were coming up, game trailers and the Playmore footage. And the Playmore footage could be anything. It could be um, like, for instance, uh, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, someone is showing you where to find hidden weapons. Um, there's like high scores and flat out and stuff like that for people to beat. So this was quite cool back in the day. It was like a little community before like social media came along and really kind of stole the show. But yeah, I've been getting copyright strikes on that or not strikes. I don't know what you call it. Strikes is when your channel like is in deep, deep shit. And if you get so many copyright strikes, they can just completely destroy your channel. Um, one of them was, I think, Project Gotham Racing. Someone used some music in the background of that when they submitted it to, I think it must have been music from the game. And I got in the shit for that. And it was like, oh, this is blocked in um, certain countries because of the fucking song that was used in the background. I'm like, what? Like, why? I mean, I'm sure if whatever country they're in, if they went on YouTube, they could just Google the damn song. Like, what's the big fucking deal? I don't understand this. And it really pisses me off because it's like the people that made the song obviously gave permission to put it in the game for anyone to play, like literally anyone. My friend that could come over and play it and they don't own the game, but they can listen to that song. They don't own the CD of that artist, but they can listen to that song while we play Project Gotham Racing or whatever game it happens to be. Did you know back in the 90s we used to record songs from the radio on a tape cassette? Did anyone pop out of the radio and be like, hey, that's copyright? No, of course they didn't. It's the same with these uh, games that get re-released like on modern consoles and they've changed the music from the game. Have you ever come across that? Um, I have on, I think it was Grand Theft Auto 4 released on the Xbox One and um, even Prey, Prey as well, was a, it's a fantastic game. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. I think you can get it for PC. Um, but yeah, the music, they completely fucking removed um, the song from Jane's Addiction, Being Caught Stealing. That's an awesome song. Um, but yeah, they completely removed it, and it's there's no reason why, except for they obviously don't hold the rights to that music anymore, but it's like, at the time of the game's initial release, they did, so I don't understand why you can't just fucking leave it in there. It's not doing anyone any harm, you know? It's sort of like, with each copy sold, why can't you just pay the the royalties to whoever it was? That You know, it just doesn't make any sense. Or better yet, you made a deal with that record company at that moment in time, that the time the game was made, so it should just be perfectly legal for you to use that music 
only in that game. And that is the same game that was released. It's just being released on a more modern console. I don't understand it. It's all really murky, weird shit. That's, to me, just as dodgy as YouTube copyright striking my videos that I've had on my channel for fucking years. So, I remember when YouTube used to actually encourage creativity. It was called YouTube Broadcast Yourself. And people of any walk of life could just that had a cell phone could literally just record themselves doing whatever stupid shit there was obviously your jackass rip-offs and your cat videos um, but anyone could record and upload anything they wanted to and now it's like if you're not in it for the money then you don't get a look in son like you don't get a fucking look and i'm one of the few youtubers that are out there I mean, who knows how many of us there are because I can't find them. And there's a reason for that is because we're not being paid. We're just doing it purely out of leisure. And it's sort of like if you don't do it for money, then you basically don't deserve to be on the face of the earth at all. So according to YouTube, you just completely drowned underneath all these like shills. These people that are out there getting paid for this stuff. And it's like I'm not having anything against people that are getting paid to do youtube if you are getting paid to do youtube good for you but you know a lot of this content is the same bullshit regurgitated again and again and again and i like to think my channel is it's more of a variety channel i don't really have one set of bullshit that i just stick to it's kind of like i throw shit at the wall and see what sticks but um i'll never monetize my content ever because then it starts to feel like a job and i don't want my creative content to start feeling like a job because then i lose all passion for it so the small sacrifice of that is my videos get pushed and drowned under an algorithm and that's just the way it is i'm afraid um so many people like it or comment on it or um dislike it which i mean even disliking pushes me through the algorithm and actually helps me but i think youtube have made changes now where they stop that from happening so even people that like your content if you're not in it to win it if you're not down to get paid then your shit just doesn't get seen and that's just the way it is and i've seen people that are really talented people that are doing interviews with um in my opinion a-list celebrities because they are voice actors of uh childhood cartoons from the 90s and that um in the early 2000s and they're not getting shit all views. Shout out to What's In My Head podcast. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Please be sure to check them out if you're into uh, those old cartoons that you watched when you were younger. If you watched Ed, Ed and Eddie, um, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, uh, Johnny Bravo even, just those ones. Uh, he's got voice actors and people that worked on those shows. King of the Hill. Um, yeah, so be sure to check them out. Like He just does not get enough views. He's got like over 2.2k subs or something but hardly anyone watches his content and yeah i just find it really bizarre like i don't know what's going on with youtube it's a complete mess um and it's a hopeful mystery because <laughs> it's like uh will will my video take off i've those disney um fanta commercials ones are, are really big on my channel for some reason they've just really taken off um and the odd one here and there that's got like over a thousand views or something so that's that to me is taking off isn't that adorable <laughs> i don't want like a million kajillion views i just i'm happy to get like one actually uh, just one sub or one um one view <laughs> please please sub i'll hold my collection plate out um yeah so yeah I, I'm, and i don't e-big that's another thing too i don't be like, ah, oh, subscribe to my Patreon. And I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll give you like a whole bunch of stupid percentages off of some crap that you don't want. Or start shilling for Rave Shadow Legends or some crap or Manscaped or whatever it is. <laughs> Nothing against those companies. I just don't do the whole commercialism thing. So, yeah. Um, I dabble in 2D game design for those of the new here. Um, I also make 2D animations and i play video games that's what i mainly enjoy doing retro or modern i just kind of yeah upload either or here really 
Whether you leave or stay, I just appreciate you for stopping by. Like I said, i got a variety here, so, I mean, you might come for one lot of videos, but stay for something else. So, yeah. Um, thanks very much for being a part of this channel. Even if it, you don't sub and you just enjoy watching something for like two minutes. <laughs> it, it's uh, appreciated. So, gaming-wise, is there anything you guys are anticipating, um, really looking forward to coming out this year? Um, I don't know exactly what... My games for this year that I've played so far and enjoyed are um, Outlast Trials. I've been really getting into that. It's a really fun game to play with a friend or two friends. Um, usually... Yeah, it's, it's, you'd think a survival horror game or like a horror game would be a scary with someone else with you, but honestly, man, it does it, it does a really good job and it puts the shits up you. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Some pretty disturbing graphic content in there. So it's not for the faint of heart, but, um, yeah, highly recommend it. And, um, South Park Snow Day. I'm definitely enjoying that as well. A lot of people dunked on that, said it wasn't, you know, it's not Stick of Truth, and it's like, well, yeah, it's not Stick of Truth. It's a totally different game. Like, get over it. <laughs> Whatever, get over it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, and South Park, The Fractured Butthole is also a fantastic game. I love Stick of Truth, and I love The Fractured Butthole, but I, <laughs> I love The Fractured Butthole. Oh, my gosh. Okay, uh... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, Snow Day is really cool in its own right. So yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys what games are you looking forward to this year? Or what ones are, have you been playing? Um, so yeah, um, I have purchased a couple of games for the Atari 2600 Plus console um, from the States. So yeah, uh, I've got Frogger and... Um, Galaxian. I've been really getting into Galaxian lately. Um, I don't know, there's something about these old school games, the, it's just the simplicity. It's just absolutely brilliant. I love it. It's like, um, especially Galaxian, that's addictive as heck, man. And you've got um, Berserk, obviously, is fantastic too. Um, but yeah, uh, the imagination and the effort that went into these games, regardless of the limitations of the hardware, is just incredible to me and that's why i think um these older games are quite appealing especially to even younger players apparently a lot of gen z are getting into these like retro games now which is just fantastic to hear it's like you guys are cultured you guys know quality when you freaking see it and i don't know about you but i'm kind of sick of being lectured to politically through movies and tv shows and video games and comic books so, yeah, I'd rather see or play a game that doesn't lecture me and it's just you're in for a damn good time. But anyway, I should probably wrap this up. It's getting a bit longish. So, yeah, shit, we're like 18 minutes in. Um, yes, so you guys take care. It's a fucking mad world out there. Do you guys want sort of more videos like this with me talking or do you want less James talking and more gameplay or I don't know? Let me know. I, I'm going to probably just upload whatever, but um, <laughs> if no one answers, <laughs> it'd be nice to get some kind of feedback if uh, you're one of the two people that watch this. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I mean, would you like more sort of stories about things? Because, yeah, I got some stories to tell. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, take care, guys. See you later.